Hi, I, oh, I can't. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to keep that one in. Hi, welcome to the Has Beens. I'm Loza, or known as Lawrence, and this is. Hey, I'm Julie. <laughs> <laughs> and hi, I'm Julie. We are currently in Istanbul, and we are asking whether or not it's safe. My parents have come to visit us in Istanbul and this is not the first time they've been here. The last time they were here, I was just a little fetus <laughs> hanging out inside my mum's womb. <laughs> That's another <laughs> way of saying that she was pregnant at the time. But they had a terrible experience and they swore that they would never ever come back to Turkey. After me and Emma came here a few weeks ago, we had such a great time that we insisted that they come back. Over the last few days we've been showing them around and trying to change their mind. Today we are taking them back to the Grand Bazaar which is where they had their bad experience 32 years ago. We're on our way to go and see them now but in the meantime I want to show you a quick montage of what we've been up to for the last few days. Julie and this is Loz, Al's dad. Would you be alright to explain what happened before and why you were so reluctant to return to Turkey? <laughs> why you wrote it off for so many years? When we came here before, it was a day trip. We travelled from Bulgaria where we were holidaying and we visited the Grand Bazaar in the afternoon. What place. did they do to you, Mum? <laughs> like lots of similar places, as soon as you stop to look in a shop, the vendor would come out and talk to you. The guy put his arm around me and then I started feeling up and down the side of my body and touched my breast. Just carried on talking and smiling to Lois as he did it. I'm not surprised he was smiling. <laughs> so yeah, that, that put me off. Unsurprisingly so. We'll probably be going back to the Grand Bazaar today, which is where said incident happened 32 <laughs> years ago. So we're hoping that nothing similar is gonna happen today. I think it's very unlikely yeah. that it's gonna happen to me, <laughs> but I so, as I'm 30 years older. <laughs> We've come over to the European side and we are now in basically the main tourist area where all of the main tourist sites are. My parents have already been here before in the past and we decided today is not the day to go and see inside all of the famous mosques. We would like to do a separate video on this another time once my parents have gone. We wanted to take my parents to somewhere they've never been before so we found the Basilia Cistern which is attached to the Hagi Sophia Mosque and it is under the ground where they used to store a hell of a lot of water. <laughs> this place is a 6th century cistern and it is huge and you go down it's really amazing and then like everywhere else it gets a bit tacky. They have managed to set up a little photo booth where you can dress up. Also I'm sorry for the people watching that actually want to do something like this. I think it's extremely tacky and not in keeping with the place. But a super added bonus about the place is that it's very very cool and escaping the heat of the day is a bit of a must at the moment because it is scorching here. I knew I knew I was going to be impressed by the system, but one thing that blew me away was the old bazaar. I don't particularly like shopping or crowded places, so I thought that the bazaar would be 
like hell for me. As it turns out, it was amazing. The architecture of the building was phenomenal and it wasn't that busy at all. Also, walking around really surprised me with the lack of hassling. I've been to markets all over the world and been hassled so much. And so I kind of expected that when going to the old bazaar here. Wasn't the case at all. We just had a few people try and chat to us and bring us into their stores, but that was it. However, as you leave the old bazaar, you have to go through what I guess is the extension of it in recent years. And that part, I must admit, was hell. <laughs> it was horrible. It was absolutely chock-a-block with people. You could barely move. And the stuff outside didn't actually look like anything I would particularly want to buy myself. So I wouldn't recommend the outside part, but the inside part, I highly recommend. Yeah, it was definitely different to how I remember it. When I look back on it 30 plus years ago, it felt, I can't say more like intense, smaller, more it? intense, yeah. busier, nobody hassled you at all, whereas the first time we went, then literally you look yeah. inside a, or look at a, um, look at inside anything, a store, yeah. <laughs> then immediately somebody is pounces on you. you. <laughs> <laughs> they hassle your boots. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. grabbing today. No. <laughs> Thanks to our friends at Chasing a Plate, they have recommended that we come to Emin Ooster's fish sandwich basically restaurant and when you get a recommendation from such food experts as these guys you can't take it lightly. This is basically a mackerel sandwich and on paper a mackerel sandwich does not sound like something that I need to be eating but here we are. <laughs> So I don't really know what's inside apart from we've got some mackerel and I guess salad and then they've been putting some stuff on the outside of the wrap that looks like all the spices and sauce. Sauce or something, yeah. But I'm just gonna go in for it. When I think of mackerel, I think of really fishy fish. The stuff that's gonna make you feel a bit queasy. <laughs> this is not like that. <laughs> this, oh no, there it is. <laughs> okay, there's that little bit of fish in the back of the throat. But on the most part, it's not too fishy. The outside, it's all about the outside. That flavor's amazing. Mmm. Mm. This is great. So this is costing 15 lira, which is about two pounds. You can get some really great cheap street food here in Turkey. And for the price, you get to sit outside. You've got a great view on the other side over here of the river, and you've got a random chicken just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> wandering around the Galata area which is actually a really nice it seems like a very hip area to be in it's definitely a lot more crowded than the Asian side of Istanbul but it's still really really nice one of the main sites to see in this part of Istanbul is Galata Tower which we really were debating going into because you can go all the way to the top and get a view of the city however the queue to get in was massive and we have better ways to spend our time <laughs> so we've had a little wander around and we somehow managed to stumble across a rooftop bar overlooking the tower and overlooking the Bosphorus and actually it's really not that busy in here it's a Saturday night and we managed to get a corner side seat with a view of everything it is incredible if this was London or any other major city it would be packed in here you would have had to make a reservation or something this is great one question that almost every person has asked us when we told them we are coming to Turkey is, is Turkey safe? Now this is something that didn't actually cross either Alex or mine's mind because I feel like 
maybe people are just reading something in the news and making an assumption. And actually, if you believed everything you read in the papers, you'd never leave home. <laughs> so Alex and I generally take stuff like that with a pinch of salt. And I'm so glad we do because we've managed to come to the city that has done nothing but impress us since the moment we got here. And I can confirm that Istanbul and Turkey in general seems like an incredibly safe place to travel. Mother Bear, I have one quick question to ask you. Now, 32 years on, would you consider Turkey safe? Absolutely. So people watching at home that might be a little bit like reserved about coming here, what can you say to that? Absolutely, do not be concerned. It feels totally safe and uh, had a fabulous time. I've just noticed as well that we've got loads of wine, loads of wine. Laza, <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's that about then? <laughs> Where's the blogger? She's pinched it. <laughs> and Loza, what would you say about it 30 years on? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Food's great. The people are friendly. Highly recommend it. Are you even British if after a night of drinking you haven't got yourself a kebab? And also I don't really have to tell any of you but if you come to Turkey and you're not vegetarian and vegan and you're not shoving a piece of meat down your throat, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> But we have a very tired couple of has-beens that need some tucking in for the night. <laughs> so thank you for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up, press subscribe and leave us a comment. Thank you for watching my son's video. <laughs> Beans out. <laughs> That's rubbish. It's bees. Out, out, out.